Welcome to exciting archaeology news. Maybe because it's simply too simple to come up with intriguing theories for how and why things exist, people are naturally drawn to bizarre discoveries. Archaeological finds reveal mysteries and question our assumptions of human history. The Earth holds numerous mysteries that have stayed dormant throughout the great fabric of humanity's existence, anxiously awaiting excavation by fearless explorers and dedicated archaeologists. They can either confirm or refute our perceptions of the past. Get ready to be startled as we unveil the hidden tales behind 11 mysterious archaeological findings, exposing their secrets and luring you to reflect on the mysteries that have yet to be solved. Number 11 rare Roman crucifixion found in England. A skeleton with a nail in its foot was discovered in England in December of 2021. This is a rare example of evidence of Roman crucifixion. When Cambridgeshire researchers looked into the bones they unearthed while excavating an ancient Roman village, they found this crucifixion-related evidence. Although it was believed that crucifixion was very widespread throughout the Roman Empire, there aren't many pieces of supporting evidence. The discovery is only the fourth piece of crucifixion evidence in the world that is known to exist, and it is also the finest preserved. Number 10. Nescliff Hill Sandstone Carvings As a means of creative expression, narrative, or communication, cutting into rocks and stones was widely practiced in many prehistoric societies. However, it's not always clear from the carvings what they were trying to convey. Two archaeologists are seeking assistance in deciphering the significance of enigmatic engravings on a piece of sandstone. Dr. Paul Riley and Gary Locke discovered it last summer at Nescliff Hill, close to Shrewsbury. The two claim that the stone's round and straight carvings resemble a human. The stone, which has been dubbed the Nescliff, was discovered in a section of the region that had been previously examined in the 1950s and filled in. The sculpture appeared to be a figure with four horns and two arms, according to Dr. Riley of the University of Southampton. But the researchers had trouble determining when and why it was made, he added. Number 9. An Outer Space Stone What could be more mysterious than suddenly encountering stones engraved with hieroglyphics from outer space? On Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada, close to Cowichan Valley, an unusual occurrence happened during the summer of 1908. Around 11.30, a piece of rock about 10 inches in diameter traveled from outer space and lodged itself in the Earth about 8 feet from where Willie McKinnon, the 14-year-old son of Angus, was working in his father's garden. Fortunately, the meteorite hit did not harm Willie. Mr. McKinnon was surprised to see that the meteor was virtually as round as a pebble and that the heated surface was deeply carved with what appeared to be some bizarre hieroglyphics. On September 5, 1908, a front-page newspaper article headlined, A Message from Mars, included this shocking tale. Mr. McKinnon has spent much of his life since this bizarre experience trying to make an explanation for the strange symbols on the mystery stone. The fact that no articles on the unusual space rock have yet been discovered suggests that it was never properly analyzed. The Miracle Stone of Cowichan is still an unsolved enigma today since no one knows where it is now located. Number 8. The Plain A magnificent collection of prehistoric art sculptures has been discovered in Dagote Cave, Habaha County, Xinjiang, Uyghur Independent Region, China. About 900 different paintings have also been found in this cave, offering important insights into the area's creative traditions and cultural past. There are images of animals, people, geometric patterns, and symbols throughout the artwork. The sculpture's exact age is still unknown, although preliminary study indicates that they may be several thousand years old. The most bizarre artwork in the cave is, however, a painting that appears to be an aircraft. This is made stranger by the fact that it is surrounded by paintings that resemble rockets. How is it possible that it was painted by individuals who lived in that region of China 10,000 years ago and who had never seen a plane? Is this simply an example of contemporary people seeing a picture they don't comprehend and translating it into something they recognize? Number 7. The City of Atlantis According to legend, Poseidon, the sea god, created Atlantis, which was larger than modern-day Asia. Land and sea rings divide the wealthy city. Atlantis is mentioned in Plato's works, Timaeus and Critias, as part of an allegory on the hubris of nations. 
In the story, Atlantis is described as a naval empire that ruled all western parts of the known world, making it the literary counterimage of the Archimedid Empire. After an ill-fated attempt to conquer ancient Athens, Atlantis falls out of favor with the deities and submerges into the Atlantic Ocean. Since Plato describes Athens as resembling his ideal state in the Republic, the Atlantis story is meant to bear witness to the superiority of his concept of a state. In 2011, a team working on a documentary for the National Geographic Channel, led by Professor Richard Frund from the University of Hartford, claimed to have found possible evidence of Atlantis in southwestern Andalusia. The team identified its possible location within the marshlands of the Doñana National Park in the area that was once the Lacus Lagustinus between the Huelva, Cadiz, and Seville provinces, and they speculated that Atlantis had been destroyed by a tsunami. Number 6. Terracotta Army Discovered China's Terracotta Army was discovered in 1974 close to Xi'an. As they dug a well, local farmers unintentionally came upon pieces of terracotta, which resulted in one of the most amazing archaeological discoveries in recorded history. Large-scale terracotta statues of warriors, horses, and chariots were discovered after extensive excavations. Despite the fact that his remains have not yet been found, these sculptures were a component of the tomb complex constructed to follow and guard Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife. The placement of soldiers mimics the military formations used during the Qin Dynasty. This find has revealed important information about the armor, weapons, and military tactics used in ancient China. The Terracotta Army also illuminates the period's creative prowess, social organization, and funeral customs. The Terracotta Army is now a well-known tourist destination and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 5. Nazca Lines when you fly over the desert in southern Peru, you may see the strange configuration of white lines known as the Nazca Lines. It is one of the nation's most well-known UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Trapezoids, rectangles, triangles, and spirals are some of the forms that make up this intriguing ancient creation. By paying great attention, you may also see 300 geometrical forms, 70 animal species, and plant structures. This line's intent is still a mystery. Between 500 BC and 700 AD, according to archaeologists, the Nazca Indians constructed the Nazca Lines. Thus, after 2,000 years, these old drawings are still in condition. Many individuals had the opinion that these lines were drawn by aliens to guide humans along the proper path. Number 4. Mount Owen Moa a bird claw was found in 1986 led by a team of archaeologists in New Zealand when they were excavating deep within a cave. It still has its flesh and muscles connected. The archaeologists later determined that it is a foot from the extinct moa bird, which vanished from the earth 2,000 years ago. The wingless moa was a large bird that could grow to be 12 feet tall and weigh up to 250 kilograms. Early people hunted moas until they became extinct. The Mount Owen moa find has added to our understanding of the distinctive biodiversity that formerly existed in New Zealand and is regarded as an important addition to paleontology. Number 3. The Warrior of Capistrano This mystery statue, which was accidentally discovered in 1934, is widely acknowledged as the most significant artifact from the earliest Italic civilizations in Abruzzo. Several artifacts that suggested the presence of a necropolis beneath the site were found during construction of a farmland area close to Capistrano. Among these, a mysterious statue broken in two pieces caught the attention of archaeologist Giuseppe Moretti, and it didn't take him long to realize the significance of the find. It stands 201 centimeters tall, was crafted from local stone and marble, and has a substantial stone base under its feet, and is supported by two vertical struts. It is possible that the statue was completely painted at one time based on color traces. The statue represented a human being attended his own burial and was made for funerary purposes. It shows a powerful, fit human body covered with his own possessions. The tools, weapons, and armor are all quite realistic, but the body is a little rough and sketchy. The figure is holding a dagger and a little axe in addition to the decorative sword, which is embellished with animal figurines. The Warrior of Capistrano is one of the most intriguing and fascinating artifacts from early Italic history because of his threatening and unnerving look, his enigmatic past, and his astounding level of craftsmanship. Number 2. Moai Statues, Easter Island 
one of the most enigmatic and iconic archaeological finds ever discovered is the Moai sculptures of the Easter Islands. The major attraction of Easter Island, a distant Chilean island, are these sculptures. Between 1300 and 1500 AD, the indigenous Rapa Nui people created the Moai figures. There are a total of 288 Moai sculptures on the island, all of which are positioned on distinct large stone platforms. Moai sculptures are 80 tons in weight and 13 feet tall. These figures were carved by the Rapa Nui people using rocks from the island's dormant volcano. Moai sculptures may be moved side to side with the use of sturdy ropes thanks to their D-shaped bases. Number 1. Egyptian Mummy Buried with a Golden Tongue An unusual find was uncovered in a recent archaeological dig an Egyptian mummy with a golden tongue. This unusual discovery provides insight into the beliefs and burial customs of the ancient Egyptians. The golden tongue that was discovered with the mummy has a symbolic meaning. According to Egyptian mythology, the tongue was one of the organs that will be required in the afterlife. The golden tongue was probably put in the mummy's mouth to enable communication between the dead and the gods. The nobility and pharaohs of ancient Egypt frequently used priceless commodities, such as gold, in burial ceremonies. The complicated rituals surrounding death and the afterlife will also be further explored by archaeologists and historians as they continue to investigate this interesting discovery. This latest find adds yet another component to the complex history of Egypt. Each find offers a fascinating window into the depths of human history, but it also raises more questions than it does solutions. These puzzling archaeological discoveries are evidence of our unquenchable curiosity and unwavering determination to solve the puzzles that have created our planet. That's all for today's video and thank you for watching it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care and stay tuned.